Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. My name is Ruben and today I want to talk about Galaxy Digital Holdings. It's a crypto stock listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange trading at 24 Canadian dollars with a market cap of 2.4 billion. And the company intends to get a listing in the United States in the first or second quarter of 2022. First, the CEO Mike Novogratz will explain in a nutshell about what the business is doing and then I will do a deep dive in this company. Listen, I formed Galaxy uh, out of my family office in 2018. I had, had invested a lot in the 2017 bubble. I got involved in not just Bitcoin, but the whole crypto space. And, you know, I was a retired hedge fund manager. I spent my life as a macro hedge fund manager, first at Goldman Sachs and then at Fortress. And running a family office is a pretty nice gig. You're not good at retiring. <laughs> People, uh, well, people come to you, they pitch ideas. And so the thought of going back and building a business, I, I really contemplated and I had three things I cared about. One is, are you gonna work with young people? Cause that's where the good energy is. Two is, are you gonna learn a lot? And three is, do you have something to, to, to add to the space? And, and I could check all those boxes. Uh, we started Galaxy as a bridge between institutions and the crypto community. Uh, can we bridge over and, and in some ways, Maybe in the long run, we're just a bridge, you know, a, a bridge in general, because the crypto community really is about peer to peer trans transactions. And in the long run, decentralized finance might put us out of business. Uh, uh, but so that was our mission statement. And we have built now five different businesses. Uh, we have a direct investment business. We use our own money to invest in crypto. Matter of fact, Michael, you got a lot of credit for being a, a, the first kind of co US corporate to put Bitcoin on your balance sheet. You know, we had done that in Canada. Uh, we're a Canadian listed company, even though we're based in the US in 2018. So, you know, we've got Bitcoin and other coins on our balance sheet. We have over 90 venture investments in the space. So we've invested in exchanges, in custody, in protocols, in the decentralized finance revolution all across the space. Um, we have a sales and trading business. So we're big liquidity providers. We trade over a billion dollars a day in in tokens. And so we'll make deep markets to anyone who wants them. Uh, we have one of the biggest derivative businesses uh, selling structured products, doing derivatives uh, for mining companies, uh, other corporates who want to, you know, limit their risk or do override strat override strategies on their Bitcoin. Uh, we have an investment banking business uh, going to corporates and saying, mostly corporates in the space, the crypto company space, but not only, and providing expertise. So I told that group, you need to develop as much domain expertise in each of these verticals as possible. So we have something to add. Um, and we have an asset management product. Uh, so we have the only Mercer rated Bitcoin fund. Um, we have created the Bloomberg Galaxy Crypto Index, which was supposed to be, and I think will be the S&P 500 of the space. Uh, Bloomberg has been a great partner. Uh, we're launching an ether, fu ether fund uh, right now. And we have a $300 million fund that invests in the virtual space. We call it Galaxy Interactive. And so NFTs, the virtual world, digital world. Uh, my mission statement really for the guys is, you know, we're gonna, we're, be, we're disruptors, right? It's, it's systems change. So Galaxy Digital is an innovative growth company providing institutional grade solutions across digital assets. They have a wide diversified offering consisting of five pillars, such as asset management, trading, investment banking, mining, and principal investments. Galaxy has a history of strong performance with 3.2 billion US dollars in asset under management. They work with 690 plus institutional trading counterparties. They have 150 portfolio companies, and they are a liquidity provider and 100 unique crypto assets. Looking at the number of employees, they have 200 76 of them and they work with trusted partners such as ci investments morgan stanley bloomberg and invesco so what do these five pillars entail in detail the first one is asset management that is active and passive strategies providing diversified institutional grade fund product offerings then they are involved with trading that is market leading sell side trading desk offering spot and derivative otc also known as over-the-counter trading lending and structured products the third one is investment banking so galaxy provides full life cycle financing 
strategic advisory and general corporate services for blockchain and digital asset companies. Then the fourth one is mining. That is the newest segment focus on Bitcoin mining with both proprietary mining operations and bespoke financing for these miners. And finally, principal investments. Direct investments in early stage and late stage venture, liquid cryptocurrency and digital assets and special situations. So here's a Galaxy Digital journey to date. Galaxy Digital was founded in 2018 in New York, including the trading and asset management businesses in 2018. Over the years, they added these different kinds of business lines. There are several acquisitions that I want to mention shortly here. In November 2020, Galaxy acquired a leading trading platform called Drawbridge Lending and Blue Fire Capital. These are both pioneers in applying institutional expertise in traditional lending, structured products, futures, and market making to the rapidly growing cryptocurrency derivatives and lending space. In May 2021, they added uh, Vision Hill that's focused on asset management, and they announced an acquisition of BitGo. That is something that I will talk later about. In October 2021, Galaxy had $3 billion in asset under management and the focus right now and in the future is driving these further institutional adoption with diverse product suite and industry leading expertise with expanding product lines expected with the BitGo acquisition going forward. The first business line is asset management where you can get institutional great exposure to the growth of digital assets and blockchain technology. Galaxy is offering 13 different discrete fund offerings consisting of Passive exposures such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, fund of funds, and interactive ventures. They work with different kinds of institutional partners such as Invesco, Bloomberg, CIA Investments, and Morgan Stanley. Assets on the management is actually growing quickly, plus 122% compared to the last quarter. And they have assets on the management over more than $3 billion. Focusing on the different kinds of funds, like there's Galaxy Fund Management with 2.45 billion where you can get a diversified crypto and blockchain exposure with institutional grade fund this varies from a diversified crypto index fund to a single bitcoin index fund then there is galaxy interactive with 650 million and these are active sector focused funds focused on the intersection of gaming infrastructure web 3.0 and open finance and then there is Vision Hill with 59 million. And this fund is the first venture focused multi manager fund of funds vehicle from Galaxy Digital and is focused specifically on providing institutional investors access to pre vetted managers investing across the blockchain and the crypto economy. The second business line is Trading, an institutional grade liquidity provider with market expertise and global access. Galaxy offers different kinds of products. OTC, also known as over-the-counter spot liquidity provisions, on-exchange liquidity provision. They have options and derivatives and a bespoke lending and structured product offerings. Over 100 tokens are supported with global 24-7 high-touch and electronic trading coverage. Looking at the numbers, there is strong growth in all segments. On the bottom left, total trading counterparties is up plus 42% to more than 690. On the top right, they present counterparty trading volumes that is up plus 280% year over year. Only from the second to the third quarter of 2021, it was down a little bit with minus 28%. But year over year, there was strong growth. And then on the bottom right, they have cumulative growth counterparty loan originations. And that is growing as well to more than $3 billion. The third business line is mining, which provides novel and sophisticated financial tools to North American miners. They have three different kinds of product offerings, prop mining, minor finance, and resale. Prop mining is focused on using the best-in-class onshore third-party facility operator and proprietary technology. Galaxy mines Bitcoin at more than 80% discount to the fair market value. Regarding minor finance, Galaxy offers state-of-the-art credit underwriting for the selected miners to finance machines and manage their capital. And they also have resale and resale purchased machines to these North American miners that require the machines, but not the financing. And on the right, they display uh, the numbers here. The third quarter of 2021 Bitcoin mining energy mix. For Galaxy, it's more than 80% plus sustainable energy and 20% is not sustainable energy mix. And that is actually better compared to the 
industry. The fourth business line is investment banking, leading financial and strategic advisory services for the crypto economy. They provide traditional investment banking services and specialist knowledge about the inner workings of the cryptocurrency and blockchain technology sector, such as m and advisory, capital raising, and general corporate advisory. For m and advisory, that entails buy side and sell side m and they go for defense, restructurings, strategic reviews, due diligence. For capital raising, it is focused on public equity, so follow on, IPOs, debt and equity, private placements. They even offer tokenized financings. And general corporate advisory entails business planning, corporate strategy, financial planning, and budgeting. They also have a selected deal experience. On the bottom left is Silvergate Capital Corporation. That's actually my favorite crypto stock of all time. I will make a new video about that one in the beginning of 2022. FTX, BlockFi, and other companies as well. The fifth and the last business line is Principal Investment. Galaxy Digital has a diverse portfolio of investments across the crypto economy. They identify, invest in, and support category-defining companies and networks that they anticipate will grow in the crypto economy and shape the adoption of this ecosystem. Right now, they have investments in more than 150 portfolio companies with significant investments made in the last quarter such as Altblocks. Altblocks is a first of its kind platform focused on generally programmable only mod generative content that is stored immutably on the Ethereum blockchain. You pick a style that you like, pay for the work and randomly generated version of the content is created by an algorithm and sent to your Ethereum account. Another significant company that they invested in is called Republic Realm, that is one of the most active investors in and developers of the metaverse real estate ecosystem. They invest in, manage, and develop assets including NFTs, virtual real estate, metaverse platforms, gaming, and infrastructure. And today, they are among the largest landowners in Axie Infinity, Decentraland, the Sandbox, and Treeverse. And this company, Republic Realm, they have holdings in 19 metaverse platforms and own over 2.5k NFTs. In May 2021, Galaxy Digital Holdings announced the acquisition of BitGo for $1.2 billion in a cash and stock deal. BitGo is a leading crypto infrastructure provider focusing on custody, prime brokerage, and portfolio and tax. Revisiting the largest ever deal in the crypto space, that would be Galaxy Digital paying more than $1 billion. Uh, to acquire in a cash and stock deal BitGo, uh, which originally started out as a digital assets custodian service before expanding into a slew of other areas, including prime lending, trading, and portfolio management as well. Uh, and for more on what the deal unlocks and uh, some other questions here in the state of crypto, as we're seeing institutional investors continue to move into the space, I want to bring on the CEO of BitGo, Mike Belshi, joins us here for more on all those things. And Mike, I, I suppose. You know, as we're waiting for this deal to close with Galaxy later on this year, uh, talk to me about what the combination unlocks and how this combination of Bitcoin and Galaxy uh, really helps both companies build on what they're trying to do. Sure. By the way, thank you for, for having me on the show here. Um, good to see you again. Uh, so, so Bitcoin and Galaxy, I think, together represent the single largest institutional player you know, in, in the space. We both have had a common mission you know, for, for quite some time about help, helping make the, the ecosystem grow by making sure that institutions can participate. Um, and just for, for those that may not think about this a lot, there's a big difference in how you participate if you have a fiduciary responsibility to your clients than if you're participating as an individual. So the digital asset markets have had uh, strength in, in the retail sector for quite some time. Obviously, Coinbase has done very well there. Um, but on the institutional side, the needs are very different. Everything from how you secure it, how you manage it, how you audit it, how you run it, how you put backups and insurance in place. Uh, these are all different. So Galaxy and Bitco together create quite a formidable strength. Uh, Galaxy, obviously, tremendous background uh, from the financial markets, a lot of depth there. Institutional investors are looking for, sure, how do you participate in a long fashion, but how also do you, do you work uh, the risk of that? How do you participate with the derivatives markets in addition to your long positions? How do you trade in and out? in a, uh, a safe and clean way. How do you manage your taxes, your reporting, all that? Uh, yep. So with Galaxy and Bitco, we've got, got a tremendous amount of technology plus financial services strength. Well, we finally saw last year, I mean, institutional money surpassing that on the retail side. And obviously, uh, as Mike Novogratz, your, your uh, compadre there has kind of pointed out, institutional money coming back into the space is, is going to be what's needed uh, to get back to those all-time highs uh, when it comes to Bitcoin. So, I mean, what are you seeing right now in terms of institutional demand, 
maybe some of those concerns, the security is always top of mind. I mean, how do you guys at BitGo maybe address some of those and how they shifted as we've moved farther and farther along in this cycle? Well, first off, the institutional markets um, may be slowing a little bit as, as you know, some of the, the current macro environment changes are, 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 are being discussed. But the overall long-term interest, the value proposition of Bitcoin digital assets hasn't changed at all. Um, and so uh, the, the continued investment from institutions, we're expecting it to, to fully come. Um, on the security side, you know, we started working on this problem you know, way back in, in 2013, we pioneered multi-signature technology. We've, we've applied a tremendous amount of operational control uh, as well as technology um, to everything that we do. Uh, ultimately, it, it's, it's, a, it's a matter of security that, that, that does come to play. And so we've, we've more, 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 mostly solved that problem. Now, what we're working on is a little bit of, you know, how do you address kind of the market structure? You know, digital assets emerged early on as a, a relatively simple market structure with, with monolith exchanges taking on kind of all functions of the industry. Um, and BitGo has, has built a qualified custodian. We're chartered actually in two states, both South Dakota and New York. Um, and, and, and growing that, that regulatory footprint, um, but, but really starting to, to tease apart the storage and security of assets from trading in a very safe way that institutional investors can have confidence that they won't have single party, single counterparty risk on any one entity. So what will the combination of Galaxy Digital and BitGo look like? From a market position point of view, they will be a full service institutional platform. So not only the focus on institutionalizing digital assets and blockchain ecosystems, but also be a leading digital assets infrastructure provider regarding complementary capabilities. They basically expanding beyond these five business lines and adding custody, prime brokerage and a portfolio and tax. So a full suite of products for acting in and holding these digital assets. Regarding human capital, it will be a mix of development and employment personnel. So not only the focus on financial investment and product oriented expertise, but BitGo has a strong focus on product and security innovation. And security is also yeah, something very important, you know, you have to store these cryptocurrencies safely. Regarding the presence, the focus here is a global presence because Galaxy Digital is primarily focused on North America and BitGo has revenue streams outside North America. Galaxy Digital Holdings generated a total revenue of 216.5 million in the third quarter of 2021, compared to last year in the third quarter in 2020, that was 28.75 million. The biggest contributor of this massive revenue jump is the net realized gain on digital assets of almost 150 million compared to 10.5 million last year. Also, the other components are all growing. Advisory and management fees come in at 3.5 compared to 1.5 last year. They generated income from digital asset mining of 2 million. Lease income from mining equipment, 1.25 million. They also make money from investments. So the net realized gain on investments was 32.56 million compared to 15.82 last year. They generated money from loans. So net interest income was 14 million compared to 1.7 million last year. And they generated money from net derivative gains of 12.85 million last year. They actually had a loss there and another income as well of 619,000 compared to 73,000 last year. Regarding the total expenses, Galaxy Digital Holdings had total operating expenses of 151.25 million in the third quarter of 2021, compared to 17 million in the third quarter of last year. The operating expenses consist of several components, equity-based compensation of 24.2 million, compensation and compensation-related expenses of 53.15 million, general and admin of 31 million, professional fees of 21 million, profit share arranged expenses of 1.87 million, and some interest insurance and director fees. Below that, they add and subtract several unrealized gain and losses. The net unrealized gain on digital assets was 379.5 million compared to 16.16 .16 million. The net unrealized gain for investments was 144.3 compared to 17 million last year. They also did a revaluation of a warrant liability and we have some foreign currency effects. Adding and subtracting all these components, we get a total income for the period of 598.2 million compared to 44.56 last year. Year. So what are the opportunities for Galaxy Digital Holdings? It's a leading digital asset security platform. I like the fact that they have a well-diversified business model like asset management, trading, 
investment banking, mining, and principal investments. Especially the last part is interesting to me because it's a way to gain indirect exposure into this growing and booming NFT market because Galaxy Digital Holdings, they invest also in multiple NFT projects. So Galaxy Stock is basically a proxy for the whole crypto space. With the BitGo ac acquisition, they're able to become a full service institutional platform. And I feel that the stock is currently under the radar and that they will gain more traction as soon as they have a US listing. From a general point of view, there's accelerating industry tailwinds. They have an expansive total addressable market. They have a strong market position, a bellwether brand into this industry and accelerated growth. And what about the risks for Galaxy Digital Holdings? Well, the stock price performance is highly linked to the price of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. So you have a high correlation. If crypto is going to take a dive, then this stock will take a hit as well. For the mining business, they have to deal with mining equipment obsolescence. So in order to keep your hash rate up to date, they have to replace your mining machines. From a general point of view, there's increasing competitions. More companies want to enter this space. Although I believe that the pie is big enough and that Galaxy Digital Holdings is a market leader in this space. And from a general point of view, anti-government regulation is by far the biggest negative for cryptocurrencies. I would like to thank everyone for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and that you actually learned something and see you on the next one.